हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम आशीष चौरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सागर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ रिसर्च एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सी एस सी डिपार्टमेंट एंड इन द कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क और टूडेज टॉपिक इज टी सी पी आई पी मॉडल इन दैट वी कवर टी सी पी आई पी आर्किटेक्चर टी सी पी आई पी प्रोटोकॉल्स एंड टी सी पी आई पी लेयर सर्विसेज ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट TCP/IP model was developed prior to the OSI model. TCP/IP model is not exactly similar to the OSI model. The TCP/IP model consists of five layer: the application layer, transport layer, network layer, data lake layer, and physical layer. The first four layer provided physical standards, network interface, inter networking. and transport functions that correspond to the first four layers of the osi model and these four layers are represented in tcp ip model by a single layer called a application layer tcp ip is a hierarchical protocol made up of interactive modules and each of them provide specific functionality here hierarchical means that each upper layer protocol is supported by two or more lower level protocols if you don't understand the osi model then uh, firstly you can visit my previous videos in that i covered osi model and basics of computer network okay now this is the architecture of tcp ip model with the comparison of osi model also in osi model application layer presentation layer and session layer combined in the tcp ip model and we say that the application layer okay in the, uh, in the tcp ip model applications layer protocols are http ftp file transfer protocol SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol, DNS, RIP, SNMP, etc. Okay, and as compare of the OSI model, transport layer is same as working in the OSI as well as TCP/IP. TCP/IP in TCP/IP model, transport layers protocol are TCP and UDP, transmission control protocol. user datagram protocol tcp is used for the connection layer connection oriented or physical path and udp for connection less okay now in the osi model there is next layer is network layer in tcp ip we compare this with the internet layer and the protocols are igmp internet group message protocol icmp arp rarp and ip is the most important thing okay and the next layer of osi model is data link layer and the physical layer in these both layer combined in the tcp ip model that we say that network interface layer or network access layer in that we study about ethernet 802.11 that is wireless and frame relay and atm okay so this is the architecture and uh, protocols of our tcp ip model now one by one we are study about all the layers of tcp ip in that case our first layer is network access layer this is the combination of physical layer as well as the data link layer a network layer is the lowest layer of tcp ip model a network layer is the combination of physical layer and the data link layer defined in the osi reference model i just i just said that okay it define how the data should be sent physically 
through the network next this layer is mainly responsible for the transmission of the data between the two devices on the same network the function carried out by this layer are encapsulating the ip datagram into frame transmitted by the network and mapping of ip addresses into the physical addresses the protocol used by this layer are ethernet token ring fd di x.25 and frame relay the next layer is an a internet layer in this internet layer is the second layer of tcp ip model an internet layer is also known as the network layer the main responsibility of the internet layer is to send the packets from any network and they arrive at the destination irrespective of the route they take in the continue of internet layer following are the protocol used in this layer are ip protocol this is the most important th thing in the tcp ip model the name i just sh show here <coughs> ip protocol ip protocol is used in this layer and it is most significant part of the entire tcp ip protocol so following are the responsibility of the this protocol number 1 is ip addressing this protocol implements logical host addresses known as ip addresses the ip addresses are used by the internet and the higher layer to identify the device and provide internet working routing host to host communication it determines the path through which the data is to be transmitted next is data encapsulation and formatting an ip protocol accept the data from the transport layer protocol and ip protocol ensure that the data is sent and received securely it encapsulates the data into message known as ip datagram fragmentation and reassembly is the next responsibility of ip protocol in that the limit imposed on the size of the ip datagram by data link layer protocol is known as maximum transmission unit if the size of ip datagram is greater than the mtu unit then the ip protocol splits the datagram into smaller units so that they can travel over the local network fragmentation can be done by the sender or intermediate router at this at the receiver side all the fragmented are reassembled to from an original message the next responsibility of ip protocol is routing when ip datagram is sent over the same local network such as lan man wan it is known as direct delivery when source and destination are on the distinct distant network then the ip datagram is sent indirectly this can be accomplished by routing the ip datagram through various devices such as routers <coughs> the next protocol is arp protocol in the internet layer arp stands for address resolution protocol arp is a network layer protocol which is used to find the physical address from the ip address the two terms are mainly associated with the arp protocol number 1 is arp request arp request means when a sender want to know the physical address of the device it broadcast the arp request to the network arp reply every device attached to the network will accept the arp request and process the request but 
only recipient recognize the ip address and sends back it physical address in the form of arp reply okay the recipient address the physical address both to its cache memory and to the datagram header now next protocol is icmp stands for internet control message protocol it is a mechanism used by the host or router to send notification regarding datagram problems back to the sender the datagram travel from router to router until it reach its destination if a router is unable to route the data because of some unusual conditions such as disabled like a device is on fire or network congestion then the icmp protocol is used to inform the sender that the datagram is un deliverable an icmp protocol mainly use two terms icmp test and icmp reply what is the meaning of icm icmp test <coughs> icmp test is used to test whether the destination is reachable or not icmp reply is used to check whether the destination device is responding or not the core responsibility of the icmp protocol is to report the problems not correct them okay the responsibility of the correction lie with the sender icmp can send the message only to the source but not to the intermediate routers because the ip datagram because the ip datagram carry the addresses of the source and destination but not of the router that it is passed to the next layer is transport layer the transport layer is responsible for the reliability flow control and the correction of data which is being sent over the network the two protocol used in the transport layer are user datagram protocol and transmission control protocol first one is user datagram protocol we understand <coughs> it provide connection less services and end to end delivery of transmission it is an unreliable protocol as it discover the error but not specific the specify the error user datagram protocol discover the error and icmp protocol reports the error to the sender that user datagram has been damaged udp consist of the following fields source port address destination port address and checksum okay udp does not specify which packet is lost udp contains only checksums it does not contain any id of data segments okay the next protocol of transport layer is transmission control protocol it provide a full transport layer service to the application it create a virtual circuit between the sender and the receiver and it is a active for duration of the transmission tcp is a reliable protocol as it detects the error and retransmits the damaged frames therefore it ensure all the segments must be received and acknowledged before the transmission is considered to be completed and a virtual circuit is discarded at the sending end tcp divide the whole message into the smaller units known as the segments and each segment contain a sequence number which is required for reordering the frames to the from to from an original message at the receiving end tcp collects all the segments and record the the 
them based on the sequence number and the topmost layer of tcp ip is application layer and application layer is the topmost layer in the tcp ip model it is responsible for handling high level protocol issues of this representation this layer allow the users to interact with the application when an application layer protocol want to communicate with another application layer it forward its data to the transport layer then <coughs> there is a an ambiguity occurs in the application layer every application cannot be placed inside the application layer except those who interact with the communication system for example text editor cannot be considered in an application layer while web browsing using http protocol to interact with the network where http protocol is used in application layer protocol in application layer there are uh, so many protocols we are using uh, some of them we discuss here now then first one is http <coughs> http stands for hypertext transfer protocol this protocol allow us to access the data over the world wide web it transfer the data in the form of plain text audio video it is known as a hypertext transfer protocol as it has the efficiency to use in a hypertext environment where there are rapid jumps from one document to another next protocol is snmp stands for simple network management protocol it is a framework used to managing the devices on the internet by using the tcp ip protocol source smtp smtp stands for the simple mail transfer protocol the tcp ip protocol that supports the email is known as the simple mail transfer protocol this protocol is used to send the data to another email addresses next protocol is dns dns stands for the domain name system an ip address is used to identify the connection of the host to the internet uniquely but people prefer to use the name instead of address therefore the system that maps the name of the address known as domain name system <coughs> next protocol of application layer is telnet it is an abbreviation for terminal network it establish the connection between the local computer and remote computer in such a way that the local and terminal appears to be terminal at the remote system next protocol is ftp stands for file transfer protocol is standard pro protocol internet protocol used for transmitting the files from com one computer to the another computer so <coughs> here we cover the tcp ip model in brief if any query then please suggest and suggestion box is open for you okay and thank you thank you everyone